Hello, 24 Hour Fitness members. I'm Lex Gillette, three time Paralympic medalist, world record holder, and proud Team 24 athlete. So as a kid growing up in Raleigh, North Carolina, I was doing I was doing it all. I was I was playing video games, riding my bicycle, playing outside with friends, and it was one particular day that I had come home and I was I was in the bathtub getting ready for a bed and I started noticing that I was losing my sight. I was suffering from retina detachments. I've had a total of 13 operations on my eyes and after the last one the doctors said they couldn't do anything else to to help my sight. And it was, you know, it was difficult. But my mom, she's, you know, she's a really strong person and she told me I would still be able to do a lot of amazing things. I just wouldn't be able to see them with my eyes. And it wasn't the sight that was the determining factor in whether I would be successful or not. It was that vision, seeing it clearly and having goals, having aspirations, and then putting in that hard work and that effort to, to bring those things into fruition. And it's been my, it's been like the soundtrack to my life. Like that's what I, that's what I listen to. That's what I, that's my beat. That's my song. I was introduced to track and field by my high school teacher, Brian Whitmer. It was, it was an opportunity for me to be free. When I first started long jumping, it was, it was scary. And that was the one thing that, that kept me, that, that held me back from being great. Coach Whitmer at that time, he told me, he sat me down and told me that, you know, I'm not gonna allow anything to happen to you. My job is to, to be your eyes. I'm gonna make sure that you're safe and, and you're gonna be totally fine. I just need you to give me your best effort. And once I actually put my trust into his hands, that's when all of the opportunities started coming. When you go to the Paralympics as an athlete, we, we have all overcome our disabilities. And, and once we get to that level, that doesn't matter anymore. You throw that, throw that out of the window because we're we're trying to get the gold. So my first Paralympics in 2004, it was really about that was my first one. So I, I didn't know what to expect, and I went out there and, and I competed at my best, and, and I came up just short and won silver. So it was it was awesome. That was my first time. Got to 2008, and I felt really good. I had a great competition. On my last attempt, I had an opportunity to take over the first place spot. I typically jump from 16 strides, and on this attempt, I jumped from 14. And it was a really far jump, and I think, I think to this day, had I actually jumped from the 16th, I would have I won. 2012 rolls around, I had a little injury three months before, and that, that kind of weighed on me a little bit. And, you know, came up just short again. This upcoming year, 2016, just really focused on staying consistent and make it to the top of the podium. At World Championships, I had one of my attempts in the long jump. I believe it was my fourth one, but when I jumped, I landed on the side of the pit. I landed on the ground. I think I knew that I had a goal at hand and my goal was to go out there and win. And uh, on the next attempt, we came back and, and I had a, a really straight run and that ended up being my furthest jump of the competition. So um, came back with the world, the world title and, and the gold medal and, and yeah, it was great. So Wes is my guide. He's with me everywhere on the track and, and on the long jump area. I love what I do. It is uh, very rewarding and he inspires me. Before we start competing, he's explaining to me what's going on. And especially on the long jump pit and the long jump runway, he's he allows me to walk around and see how wide the pit is, how long the pit is, how wide the runway is. And, that, and that's helping me create this picture in my mind, and I'm really big on, on imagery and, and uh, visualization. Well, he's a shoot for the stars and land the moon kind of guy, you know? So, um, yeah, he's pretty amazing. Putting my trust in Wes's hands, it's, 
it's easy now as an individual who is blind from the outside people a lot of times look at me as that totally shuts down my whole operation we put a lot of importance on being able to to see things with our eyes and I've had a lot of people who have been influential in my life and they've helped me get to this point and I want to be that same building block in, in someone else's in someone else's house so so they can be strong and go out there and, and do amazing things also. Hi, I'm Lex Gillette and I'm proud to represent 24 Hour Fitness at the 2016 Rio Paralympic Games, Go Team 24.